Hey, you're watching TechCrunch TV. I'm Colleen Taylor. Standing with me is Dennis Crowley, the CEO and founder of Foursquare. We're here in beautiful Austin, Texas. <laughs> it is beautiful today. <laughs> on uh, day, day one, basically, of South by Southwest yep. Interactive. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, everyone knows that Foursquare really blew up at South by Southwest 2009. Two th yeah, 2009 was when we launched. Right. And then, you know, we had big years, 2010 and 2011 as well. Yeah. And we've just, you know, we've always used it as, um, you know, kind of a platform to retell the story of Foursquare and, you know, when we can, push out new products so that people can play with them. Right. I want to get back to what you guys are doing here this year, but sure. I want to ask you about this larger conversation that's happening, especially this year. Uh -huh. I know TechCrunch wrote a post saying that, you know, the, the era of an app being able to really make a presence at South by Southwest is over. That was a place in time, Twitter, Foursquare really took off, yeah. but it can't happen anymore. What do you think about that? Um, you know, you might not be able to use this as like your primary launch platform, but it's still a good place to get people experimenting with the stuff that you're building and talking about it and, you know, just getting feedback from users. So I think is I think everyone thinks like this is the place to come and launch their one thing and it'll stand out, but there's a hundred people that are thinking the same thing and that's just why I think a lot of those messages just get drowned out. Yeah, the secret is out about South by Southwest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> exactly. I want to ask, what, what are you what are you doing here this year? What's Foursquare? Are, you, are there any launches? What's going on? Yeah, well, I'm doing um, I'm doing a keynote on Monday, in which we get to talk about you know just how much has changed for us over the, the last year or so, and the ever evolving direction of the company and the stuff that we're really excited about. Uh, we're doing a party on Sunday night, and you know we've um, I've been coming. This is my eighth one in a row, and that's my I guess this is our fifth with Foursquare, even though we launched four years ago. And it's always just a reason to come down and, and just like connect with the people that love using our product and just you know connect with old friends. So it's, it's always it's always fun for us. Cool. And I want to ask back in 2009 and 2010 when Foursquare was really getting a lot of traction here uh -huh. at South by Southwest. Um, is there anything that right now, knowing what you know, you would go back and tell yourself or tell your team at that time? Anything you would change? Any lessons learned? Uh, I don't know. I think we played it pretty well the first couple years. And you remember there was a. There was five or six different companies that we were competing with at the time for attention down here, specifically attention in like in the reinventing local space and you know doing things around check-ins. And you know we just kept hustling every single year, and we got to be the one company that like survived that onslaught, which is pretty fun. Right. But you know the advice I always give to people is just um, you know it's it's um, try to go out and connect with as many folks as possible, and uh, you know it's like don't. They treat it more as a, a opportunity to connect with the people that enjoy the stuff that you're you're building, as opposed to just like you know immersing yourself in the conference. I see. And um, I also want to ask what uh, you've seen so far. You've been here for like a day, a couple days. <laughs> Have you seen any cool company, or even if it's not here at South by Southwest, has there been any kind of app that's crossed your desk that you're obsessed with lately? Yeah, that, we all just went out to lunch, and we were um, we were talking about this, like what is going to be the the breakthrough thing? Because everyone wants to find the breakthrough thing of, of yeah. the year. But not every year has that. You know, I think like we were in 2009, and I think we might have been in 2010 again. And then like it just like there hasn't been that app over the last couple of years or so. And it could be that you know what you're saying earlier, it's just like you know the uh, South by Southwest is past that point where there is like one breakout thing every year. And you know maybe maybe you'll see some you know some interesting stuff emerging over like Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. But we have, I haven't seen it yet. But you know it's fun to see what people are playing with. Right. It's still early. Um, and I want to ask you just about the evolution of Foursquare that you're going sure. to talk about later. Uh, we've seen, it seems like every time Foursquare comes out with something, there's a bigger company that comes out with something similar. You guys yeah. have led the way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a lot of ways, especially here with a lot of new stuff from Facebook. Huh? Um, how do you view this competitive landscape? Um, well, you know, we always think of it, we're the, uh, you know, after years of doing this, we're the smallest of the big guys now. And so whether we like it or not, like we compete with the Googles and we compete with the Facebooks and you know, anyone else that's trying to really do interesting stuff around, um, you know, around inventing the future of local and inventing the future of maps. And I think one of the, the great things about the position that we're in is that it's the only thing that we do. Like we do, we do location, we do you know, social location, we're doing social maps. And like, you know, that's the only thing that we do so we can really stand out among a crowd that's like, you know, trying to do that stuff among a hundred other things that they're also trying to do. Right. Right? And it puts us in a nice spot. Cool. And um, last question here, what are you guys really looking forward to over the coming months? What's, you know, the rest of 2013 looking like for Foursquare? For Foursquare? Well, we, um, you know, last year was our, our biggest year ever. Like, we went from 15 million users to 30 million users. And now we have uh, we have 3 billion check-ins in our data set. And it's just like, that with that type of data, like, it's data that no one else really has. And so we can do this stuff that no one else has really ever done before. And you start to see that now with everything that we're doing with personalized local search and what you're seeing with social maps and like a lot of the stuff that we've been thinking about with 
you know, passive awareness of geolocation. Like we're in a really good spot to invent the way that people think about this stuff for years going forward. And I think you're gonna see a lot of that coming from us later on this year. And it sounds like that's the kind of stuff that could be making more and more money for you guys as a company. What's the revenue situation? I said last was the last question, but this is the last question. Yeah, well, well we know we, we launched our um, some of our monetization products last year and we've been generating revenue so far. And I'm sure you've seen some of the things um, that we've done with American Express and uh, we recently just launched credit card offers with MasterCard and Visa. And, you know, really it's like you can start to see the pieces coming together. We go, without going into it too deeply, like we're really good at connecting people with places and we're finding ways to be really good at connecting those places back with people. And there's a really strong opportunity for us to uh, generate a lot of revenue in offering those services for merchants. Cool, well Dennis Crowley, Foursquare, thanks for talking to us. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show.